All right, Pisces, this is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with another Piscean. So Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, wherever you have Pisces in your chart. Uh, and you're dealing with someone else who has Pisces in their chart heavily or in one of those placements that I uh, specified. This reading may resonate with you. So Holy Spirit, Angels and Guides, God, Universe, Ancestors, and the Highest of the Most High. You are welcome into this reading. So we're going to be pulling four cards from the Rebel deck. This is going to be for October 2nd through the 12th. For Pisces, dealing with another Pisces. So take what side of this you resonate with the most, okay? If you don't resonate at all, it's just not your story this time. Um, I'll be reading Pisces number one over here, Pisces number two over here. So uh, Pisces, my subscriber, Pisces cross watcher, okay? But again, roles can always be reversed. So if you find yourself resonating with this, be sure to hit that thumbs up. <clears throat> All right, so you got the lightning bolt. Figure ish out on your own, okay? So spirit, there could be something here that comes in that happens suddenly that's shocking. Could be unexpected. Uh, there may be a need for you to figure some ish out on your own. This kind of is giving me like that tower energy. Um, what else for Pisces dealing with another Pisces? You need a big effing hug. Squeeze. So some of you guys may be feeling like you need a hug. The other person may be feeling like they need a hug. Maybe someone's going through some ish and they're just like, ugh. Okay. All right. What else? For Pisces dealing with another Pisces. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That ish never works. Okay, so I don't know if someone is, you know, trying to trying to get someone to change or hoping someone will change or trying to make someone change. That shit never works. Focus on yourself. Okay, if someone wants to change, they will. If they don't want to, then that's on them. Um, whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the effing time. So if there's something on your mind, Pisces or cross watcher that you're thinking about doing, spirit may be urging you not to do it. Now is not the time. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to be pulling four cards from the Andromeda skies. Take what fits, leave the rest as always. Uh, this is just extra clarification regarding the situation between the two energies, Pisces dealing with another Pisces. Okay. Some of these cards may resonate with you, others may not, may be out of left field, okay? I am reading for a collective. So let's see, four cards, if you something comes up and you're like, oh, I was thinking that or I was wondering that, if there's your clarification, okay? Don't try to force a story that isn't there. So let's see, you are always on my mind. So either you're always on this other Pisces mind or they're always on your mind. Three more. Oh, you are the, <laughs> you are the, <laughs> you are the love of my life. <laughs> Maybe someone likes the way you smell. I don't know. Okay. They're going to make more room. Okay. Two more, please. From the Andrew Minas Sky Spirit. What do we got for Pisces? Done with another Pisces. I need time. So someone here may be feeling like, hey, I need, I need time. You know, you are the love of my life. You're always on my mind, but I need some time. Like maybe someone's got some things going on outside of this connection that they may be working through. Okay. You, yeah, exactly. You make me want to be a better person. So again, someone here may be working through some shit. Um, jealous and possessive showed up on the bottom of the deck. So I don't know. This could be you, jealous and possessive. This person may be like this over you. Keep in mind. If someone is jealous and possessive, that's a deep-seated issue that that person ultimately needs time to heal, okay? Um, and that's something I've learned, you know? If someone makes you feel jealous or possessive, it's either look look at why that per is that person triggering you? Is there something that happened in the past that you're not quite over? Did they do something to di to cause distrust or to do, you know, vice versa? Um if it did, maybe that situation needs to be left alone so that it can heal because being in a jealous and possessive situationship is no fun, okay? You're not living to your highest potential for real, okay? You can't please someone else. You know, you gotta, you know, please yourself and, you know, either you co coexist and co-get along and whatever, but you can't control, that could be what this, um, 
you do you card is here for. Stop trying to change people. That ish never works. So if someone's trying to control someone or be possessive over someone, it's like you can't control what anybody else does. You can only control yourself. So what choices are, and this could be you, Pisces, or the cross watcher. I don't know who's doing this, but it's just the energy surrounding the connection, okay? Um, you know, it's a push and pull dynamic. So when someone's jealous or possessive, you ultimately end up pushing that person away by trying to possess them or hold them you know, or control them or whatever. You push that person away. The opposite occurs, you know? So if you can't, like, be in a situation naturally and feel trusting, then maybe that's not the situation for you. Or maybe there's some time that needs to be healed or someone here needs to work on themselves, work on becoming a better person. You know, someone's ex could have... I don't know why I'm talking about this so much, but, you know, someone could have gotten hurt from an ex and they're bringing that that energy into the new situation if this is new or old or whatever or this is between you two i don't know anywho let's move on okay i'm not a therapist a counselor or a doctor or a legal advisor so consult yourself on that one i hid who i really am from you so somebody could have you know presented themselves as one way or you could have been but that's not really what it was okay someone wasn't being authentic oh so i don't know which one of these cards but i think the we both know i'm not the one for you i feel like that one i don't know if you're saying that or this person's saying that i'm gonna wait till we just get one card though i don't like that when that happens so we've got, I can't stop thinking about you. And you had this, you are always on my mind. So maybe you both can't stop thinking about each other. I remember every detail of that day, whatever that day is. Either you remember every detail of that day or the other person does. And I love you. Oh, well, I do feel like there's love here between this situation. But I feel you even though we are apart. Some of you guys are separated from this person because there's some type of external issues that need to be worked through. As someone, yeah, that lightning bolt, figure shit out on your own. <laughs> Didn't I just say that? Someone needs to consult themselves and <laughs> figure this shit out on your own. I don't know. There's a need to, like, go within, reflect on a situation. What is causing you to feel this way? What makes you feel this way? Is it you? Is it the other person? You know, oftentimes it comes from something within. If someone's making you feel like they're being jealous and possessive over you, are they being jealous and possessive? Or do you just feel like they are because you feel you don't like, you know, it can go both ways. You got to think outside the box for it. Even I have to. And I'm great at seeing things from multiple perspectives. But, you know, sometimes we could feel that someone's jealous and possessive. Sometimes people straight up are fucking jealous and possessive. But other times it's like, um, do you just feel that way because you... Uh, I'm hearing that song close by, I don't know who sings it, um, close. Space is just a word made up by someone who's afraid to get too close. <laughs> you know, so someone here may be just like afraid to get too close. And so space may, you know, you know, sometimes too, people with a guilty conscience can can do that too. Like they don't want someone, like I hid who I really am from you. It's like someone with a guilty conscience. It's like they may want their space. And so they may turn around and gaslight someone and be like, oh, you're just being possessive and jealous, you know, by asking me what I'm doing today. And it's like, no, bro, I was just seeing what you were doing today because I was going to surprise you with lunch, dickhead, you know, or something like that. And someone's just like, but they've got some type of guilty conscience is why. So it's like they try to gaslight you like you're being crazy, but then it's really them, you know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but y'all say I if this is resonating. All right, let's get into your reading. Pisces. Pisces dealing with another Pisces. Overall energy, please, for my subscriber. What is the Pisces overall energy? My subscriber, please. Overall energy. Single cards only. Make it clear. The Emperor. So these three cards went face down. This one's upright. So I'm taking it. Aries energy. 
You may have Aries in your chart. Some of you guys could be a father, a boss, a CEO. You may run your own show. You could be an emperor and running your own empire. Okay. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. Accept a leadership role, structure, and discipline. So some of you guys are sitting in this very authoritative energy. Like, I also see his lightsaber. <laughs> I would say sword, but it looks more like a lightsaber. Okay, he's got his lightsaber up. So some of you guys are just tapping into your own light power. Okay. Stepping into your own authority, taking charge of a situation. Maybe some of you guys are, you know, trying to organize your life. You know, trying to be disciplined with whatever it is that you're trying to achieve here. All right. Show me the cross watcher, please. What is their overall energy? Again, take what side of this you resonate with. Okay. Show me the Pisces Cross Watcher. I know you guys have waited forever for this reading, so. I've seen a comment, I think, the end of last week. Someone asking, what about Pisces and Pisces? And I was like, shit, I didn't think anybody wanted it. So no one said anything <laughs> until then. All right, show me the Cross Watcher. So I apologize for that. Pisces dealt with another Pisces. Thank you. We've got the Four of Pentacles. So managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give and receive money, time, or emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black and white, being charitable. So your person, whoever this uh, other Pisces energy is, they could be pulling back their energy. They may be trying to conserve. They could be penny pinching, saving up, trying to manage their resources wisely. Um, so if this person feels like they're distant or they're pulling back, they could be in the process of, in this four of pentacles, it's not like, the traditional tarot to me this this is more like somebody who they're they're pulling back they're withdrawing and they're being they're trying to manage things better okay um in a better way so if they come off as conservative or you know four of pentacles in traditional tarot can talk about some type of possessiveness or hoarding but in this particular deck i feel like this is somebody who is more so trying to manage their resources or trying to balance something out by saving being conservative not spending recklessly not you know going out to the park going out to a club when they know that their fucking rent is due what song is that um flow rider and someone oh Nicki minaj Got bills. All right. I ain't paid my rent this month. <laughs> I owe that. <laughs> and I, oh, and I ain't paying my rent this month. I owe that. But check who you want and check who you like. I don't know. I forget the chorus, but <laughs> yeah, don't go out to the club. This is someone who maybe like pulling back, trying to, you know, get their shit together. Okay. You could be someone who's already put together or someone of some type of status or you may run your own business or your whatever this is. The emperor is like the highest, you know, it is a strong masculine energy as well. You could be the Pisces masculine or some don't have to be. It's just energy. Um, yeah, so this person may be trying to measure up in some way. Show me Pisces. My subscriber, what is in their emotions for the next 10 days? What is in their emotions? The Eight of Pentacles. What is in the Cross Watcher? What is in their emotions? Three of Cups. Okay, Pisces. So in your emotions, Eight of Pentacles, you could be very focused on your work. Um, mastering some type of craft or some type of skill. Like I said, some of you guys are your own boss or you could be mentoring someone. Someone could be mentoring you. Typically, I would feel like you're mentoring someone being in this emperor energy. But um, whatever it is that you're doing, I feel like you're very skilled at it with this eight of pentacles, learning all that you can about a subject or career, going back to school, taking a seminar, finding a mentor, attention to detail and skilled work that you love. So some of you guys are, you know, very focused on putting in that work, showing up, being responsible, organized, learning more, being being all that you can be. Okay, I got jokes today. I'm sorry. I'm trying to tone it down, but I can't help it. All right, so news worth celebrating for your person. They got the three cups, four pentacles. So news worth celebrating, joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, 
pregnancies or graduation, a time of gratitude, close communities and chosen families. Now it's funny that I was singing that song because literally it's like, I didn't realize what the lyrics said. I think it's the guy part of the chorus that I was hearing, but I don't know the lyrics. And then I bust out with some Nicki Minaj part. Like she's in the song, but I can't remember his chorus. But I think that's the line that I'm trying to reference, but I just don't know the words anyways. But Three Cups, this person maybe go like emotionally, maybe this person does like to party. Maybe they do like to drink. Maybe they've been going out too much. And they're like, shit, I gotta fucking like, I gotta pay my rent this month. I owe that. <laughs> okay. It's like, maybe they have been celebrating. Maybe they celebrated too soon. Maybe this person, um, This person could be holding back from doing this. Four of Pentacles can also talk about refraining, holding back, being conservative. So, but when it comes to their emotions, it's like maybe they want to. Like, it's like, damn, I really want to go out, but I ain't got the money to do it. You have to figure that shit out on your own, buddy. So some of you guys, this person may look up to you or they may see you being empowered or working on something, you know being very good at what you do, building your own business, being a leader or, or a manager of some sort or something to that nature. And this person's like, damn, I've been fucking off my money. <laughs> I've been fucking shit off. I need to, I need to. Sometimes these, there's nothing wrong with going out and celebrating and having fun. You know, if you got it, do it. But I feel like this person may be realizing like, dang, I need to, I need to, I need to get my shit together like this Pisces or I need to like tone it down a little bit or I need to pull back a little bit because I've been doing too much of this even though this is something that I, I enjoy. Sometimes this can even be like the company you keep, you know, like your friends, your siblings. It's like, uh, for instance, I'll give you an example. When I had moved back home to my hometown, my cousin had invited me. I think it was around tax season, but she, she had... You know, they had good money, okay? Her husband had a great job. I was just a broke-ass single mom. <laughs> but she was like, let's go to JCPenney's, you know, and it was tax time. I had a little bit of money, but it was meant for to get my ass on my feet. No, man, I went out with her, and I was, like, trying to be with the Joneses. I wanted that handbag so that I could feel, like, successful when I do try to get a job in that city. Like, it was just stupid shit. And then I remembered I was, like, fucking $800 gone. Yes, we got a lot of good deals, but I was so mad at myself. I was like, man, I'm never going to shop over here just because it made me, either I was going to feel like I wasn't shit, I was going to feel unworthy because I was going through a hard time because I went with her and she could do this and that and that and the other. And, or I was going to freak myself in the bunghole, you know? So, uh which is kind of what I did, but I learned from it. I didn't do it again, that's for sure. So maybe somebody's been doing something. Sometimes we get swept up by like society or friends and they're like, oh, you wanna come do this? And you're like, sure, just one drink or uh, sure, I'm just gonna order off the happy hour menu, you know, like for food or whatever. And then you get around people on some type of societal pressure makes you feel like you gotta, you know, and now someone's realizing, like, shit, I should have done this, you know? And this could be in any circumstance. I'm just throwing out ideas. Like, you could have been someone who was very focused on your craft, your work. You may have been working on something, staying very disciplined. And I feel like you're almost making this person want to be a better person. We have that. You make me want to be a better person. It's like this person may be trying to, like, you know, whatever. All right. Show me Pisces next move. What is Pisces' next move? Magician. Damn, Daniel. Show me this cross watcher. What is it? their next move? Show me their next move. The wheel. Beautiful. Okay, so Pisces, your next move is the magician. You are in like full on manif manifestation mode. Okay. You have all the skills, all the talents, all anything that you need to create the outcome that you desire. You have it at your disposal right now. Okay. With this magician energy, magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest if you believe it, 
You can do it. Okay, so this is your next move. Some of you guys are manifesting. Some of you guys are working on something. Again, whoever you are, you're very skilled. You're very talented. I feel like you know the power. Uh, you may also be someone who knows how energy works. So if you're watching me, I'm sure you do. I know there's people that watch that don't quite understand it yet, but I feel like whoever I'm tapping into, you definitely do. Okay. Um, your person, the wheel. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, a fresh new start, the end of delays, sudden or unexpected progress, very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle. So this person's next move, they may be wanting something new. They want they want some type of progression, positive movement. Okay, this wheel is in the upright as their next move. That is brilliant. This is a new start. This is a, a change. This is a positive change. This is headed in the right direction. So if this person starts pulling back their energy from things, you know, this could be people, places, things, uh, events. Uh, whatever, then this person is starting to notice some type of positive shift or positive change in their life. And that could also be like making them feel some type of way, like feeling inspired or feeling like, oh, you know, things are turning. I start doing this and things are starting to look up for me, you know, so it's given them some type of empowerment for them, I feel like. Okay, show me Pisces intentions. My subscriber, what is their intentions, please? Two of Swords, okay. Show me the Cross Watcher. What is their intentions? Hermit. Okay, Pisces, so your intentions, Two of Swords. Uh, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem and overanalyzing a situation. So your intentions, you may be kind of ignoring some. I don't know if you're ignoring this person. You're ignoring a choice or a decision that maybe you need to be, that maybe you need to make because maybe there's something here you don't have all the facts about. This can also be like, I'm not communicating. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to communicate. Um, I feel like this is kind of like an avoidant type of energy. And I don't feel like you're avoiding it. With all this other energy here, I feel like you're you're trying to manifest some type of growth in your life. Maybe even some type of status. Or maybe you're just, some of you guys could start a new job, a new business. And it's like, that's what you're focused on. It's like, I ain't got time to hear anybody else's shit. I ain't got time to talk to anybody, work on anything with anybody. And it's like, I'm not making a decision. I'm not saying I don't want you in my life. Um, or I don't need you in my life. I just, I'm busy. I ain't got time right now. I'm busy manifesting. Okay. Um, your person has the hermit, Virgo energy. Your person, Pisces, uh, may have Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or Virgo in their chart. Somewhere you may also have Aries, Virgo, Gemini in your chart. Okay. If you don't, then leave it for who it does, but uh, the Hermit. So time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Uh, seek out or become a spiritual mentor in self-discovery. So this is good. This is your person going going within, okay? Doing some type of reflecting, introspection. Staying to themselves, pulling their energy back. Because why? They want this wheel to turn. They want some, they want some type of positive shift, positive change in their life. Again, I feel like this is a very good energy. So if, two, if you two are in no communication with one another, I don't feel like, and I don't know the backstory behind this, so scratch, you know, whatever. I do feel like you guys are heavily on each other's mind possibly, but I feel like you guys are focused on, yeah, the magician in the wheel for your guys' is like um, next moves. You guys are like trying to manifest some type of positive change, both of you, okay? The Hermit and the Two of Swords, kind of similar energy. It's like this person's, you know, going within. They're not speaking. They're staying to themselves. They're kind of reflecting, analyzing a situation. <sighs> Focused on learning and growing. And your intentions here is like, I, you know. Is it raining out there? I think it is. I just feel like we can clarify that. Why is the Two of Swords here for Pisces, my subscriber's intentions? I just feel like you're you're not making any choices or decisions. You may not be communicating, but I feel like it's because you're focused on something else. Show me the two of swords, and I don't feel like it's another person. This has to do with like manifestations work. 
Um, maybe even self-empowerment. Oh, shit. Empress in the reverse. And my deck is in the upright. So, actually, no, it's not. I'm just lying. Wow, my deck is always fucked up. Well, if this is your person, Emperor to Empress, then maybe you're ignoring this person until they get their shit together, Empress in the reverse. Maybe you're like, no, I don't fuck with you until you get your shit together, until you, you know, get your shit together in the upright. Maybe that was the message. So let's go on to the outcome. Show me the outcome for the next 10 days between Pisces and Pisces. And don't pay attention to the gender. The rules can be reversed. Flip it, switch it. Okay. Or this could be you like ignoring something because you may feel like something takes from your growth. You know, the Empress is fertility growth. Um, <clears throat> so you may just be like, Again, I feel like it's someone who's very focused on the things that are going right in their life and ignoring anything that could infiltrate that or take from that. Okay? Show me the outcome between Pisces and Pisces. And this is just for the next 10 days. Energy is always shifting um, depending on our actions. Nine of Cups showed itself. So wish fulfillment. Yeah, you guys are manifesting your desires, your wish fulfillment. Um Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Page of Cups can be a message, okay, of emotions coming in. For some, this could be an apology. But the Page of Cups is sensitive, open-hearted, and experienced, moody messages regarding relationships, new emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, social invitations, or events, heightened psychic abilities. And then you have the Chariot, Cancerian energy. A chariot in this deck talks about rewards that come from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower and public recognition. This can also be somebody coming in expressing, hey, like, do you want to go out? Do you want to go out for coffee? Do you want to um, get together? Or, you know, this could also be somebody coming in and saying, hey, I'm sorry, um, you know, I still have emotion for you. I still like you. We're still cool, right? Whatever. But I'm just really focused on moving forward. I'm just really focused on putting my thought into action with that white and dark horse there. It's like I'm really focused on my positive movement forward. I'm determined. Nothing can stop me. I'm on the way up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so someone may be expressing this. You may express this to this person. This person may express this to you. Um... What else? What else is in the outcome for Pisces? Dealing with another Pisces. Some of you could even receive like an apology or be giving an apology and that could move this situation forward or somebody just reaching out and expressing, hey, this is what's going on. Um, still because a page of cups is emotion so it's like i still like i said i think i already said that didn't i like hey we're so cool right i'm just i'm just working on this because there's kind of like an ignoring type of energy like i'm not saying nothing i'm not saying nothing and both of you i feel like are trying to work towards something um your person just may be a little bit more delayed than you or or vice versa you know one person may get a little bit distracted easily or they may have realized that they kind of lost course for a minute. Maybe this person presented themselves as an empress and they're the four of pentacles, which, you know, obviously there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe somebody went through some type of financial hiccup. Maybe somebody, um, you know, someone could have even lent. This is a side note for like one person. Someone could have even lent their siblings some type of money and now they're trying to like build that back up. Or maybe they're reflecting on the people whom they were giving to, giving their energy, time, and emotions to. And now they're like focused on like, damn, I ain't going to have shit if I keep giving to this shit, you know? The Wheel of Fortune and their next move is like positive change. It's like, so they know that they need to create some type of positive change. Um, tell me more. The moon and the page of swords. Okay. 
And the other card we got, oh, Ace of Cups in the reverse. Deuce, Louise. Okay. Um, Eight of Swords. I'm going to clarify these. But the Ace of Cups in the reverse can talk about unrequited love. Um, Pisces, take this as it resonates, but you may be the one that takes charge of this situation and reaches out and says, hey, like, whatever it is that you say, I don't know. But the chariot takes charge. It's determination, it's willpower, and the page of cups is expressing some type of emotions, apologies, empathy, sincerity, something to that nature, okay? But the ace of cups is in the reverse, so something here may feel like it's unrequited, um, or, you know, it's a lack of a new beginning, Someone here could lack self-love as well. Uh, shit, I don't know. Okay, so the moon, Pisces Cancer energy. So this person may have cancer in their chart as well. But listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears, revelations that will make everything clear. This is more so on your person side. And then the page of swords. So I definitely see kind of, you know, either a lighthearted conversation or maybe a couple messages going back before but back and forth between you two. This person may be keeping an eye on you, but if they are, they're doing it in secret, you know. Uh, with the moon here, page of swords, page of swords is known as like the spying card. This person could be watching you online or I have some type of way of watching you, but they're doing it in secret. This person may also fear reaching out and communicating to you, but they're watching you in some type of admiration with all those butterflies. You see the look on his face? This is on your person's side. So again, if you're inspiring this person to do better, you make me want to be a better person. This person's watching you in some type of admiration, but they're doing it in secret with the moon. Okay. So some of you guys, I don't know if this is a love connection. I do feel like an actual like boyfriend, girlfriend or girlfriend, girlfriend, whatever. But um, I got a freaking hair in my eye. For some of you, it is. You got I love you. I can't stop thinking about you. No, oh, you are the love of my life, maybe. I wonder where that ace of cut. That card was straight in the reverse. So I can't flip it for the sake of your guys' feelings. I'm sorry. And that deck was in the reverse, wasn't it? Oh, let me use this deck. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Why is the Page of Cups here for the outcome for the next 10 days? Maybe something's just like what this is again, Page of Cups in the reverse. Maybe something is not meant to come into fruition at this moment in time, you know, because it could be unrequited. Like maybe something here isn't equally balanced, okay? Someone's still working on themselves. Someone in who they really are, you know. I do feel like someone here is reflecting and they're learning from that. And there is going to be a positive shift here, a positive change when it comes to your person. Keep manifesting whatever it is that you're working on. Um, let's see, why is this Page of Cups here in the outcome? And the Magician, there you go, Chariot. Ooh, judgment. So, yeah, you may even express to this person, like, hey, uh, this can be taking accountability. This could be a reconciliation, learning some type of life lessons, um, forgiveness. It's like, hey, I forgive you. Or, hey, can I, can you forgive me? Whatever side of this you fall on, I don't know. But this could be like someone expressing their emotions, like, hey, can we forgive this situation and move forward? Um, I'm sorry for doing this. I, I, I understand I've been ignoring you, but blah, 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 whatever the case is. I don't know what's going on here, but chariot and the magician, someone here is very determined when manifesting some type of forward movements. You could even be trying to manifest a new vehicle or some type of a travel or a trip Pisces. Show me this ace of cups in the reverse. The high priestess. So intuitively you may know, or this person may know. That could be that card we seen earlier, like you, either someone here, both of you are Pisces, so this makes it confusing for me, but High Priestess, okay, so there's some type of intuitive nudge that somebody knows that something here is unrequited, and again, we had that one card that flipped out that I put it back because it came out with a bunch of cards, and it said, 
we both know I'm not the one for you or something. So maybe you feel like this isn't the person for you, but you may care about this person. I don't know. Shit. That's a hard pill to swallow. Maybe you're ignoring this person. Maybe you don't want to talk to this person. I don't know. All right. Show me. Um, what it? What does Pisces intuitively know here? Seven of Cups. <sighs> you know, some of you guys may even intuitively feel like this person has other options or that this person could be giving to other people. You know, the Four of Pentacles with this Three of Cups. You may feel like someone's giving to someone else. Show me the moon. Oh, the emperor. Show me the page of swords. Yeah, this person's watching you in secret. They also fear you in some way because of some type of status. And there goes the moon again. The emperor and the moon. Pisces, Cancer, Aries. Yeah, this, and again, that's what I was clarifying was this page of swords. Someone's watching you in secret, but they also fear communicating something to you. Um, because... <clears throat> either because of some type of status that you hold. I feel like this person is trying to use their intuition or this is telling you to use your intuition. Soon everything will become clear. Some of you guys could even feel like your intuition is foggy with the Seven of Cups or something here is an illusion. Um, something isn't real. This is unrequited love. Damn. You may feel like taking, taking a leap of faith with this person would be a risk because there's some type of codependencies here or something let's get three cards from the romance angels and close this reading out i hope this helped i hope it gave you guys some type of clarity if it did let me know this is just the energy that it's sitting in right now okay for whoever it doesn't mean that shit can't get shift and clear up because i do feel like someone is working on themselves very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now passion <laughs> um allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and i've seen that under here temperance and and uh the king of wands somebody may be trying to temper their desires for this situation In retreat it is time to disconnect from the world i feel like that's for your person i feel like your person is retreating disconnecting from the world free yourself and express your love so i feel like once someone does free themselves from whatever this is take it's time to take back control of your life and that's that four pentacles when someone does take back control of their of their situation of their life whatever this is i do feel like someone's going to reach out and express their love uh, but for right now, I feel like either you or the other person may feel like it's unrequited or something here doesn't have what it takes to get off the ground and have a new beginning in love. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave this written here. I hope it helped. I hope it gave you some type of clarity. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.